Aries, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson, and welcome to Jen TV. All right, Aries, let's take a look. A love reading for Aries, please. My remember. How you doing, Aries? Let me know in the comments below. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readers, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. I'm not doing private readings at this time. All right. Aries. Five cards, all right. The stars at the bottom of the deck. <sighs> the overall vibe here. It's really setting the vibe and that's kind of the point of it. <laughs> but I'm kind of telling myself this. That's why it's really setting the vibe. Two of Cups in reverse. So you guys aren't really connecting anymore. On the level that you did. God, I feel like I feel like that's not what either of you wanted. That's the thing. This is why it feels weird. It's setting the vibe. You're not connecting anymore. You, neither of you want this at all. Tell me more. Yeah, I think you're both sort of thinking that if we if we ignore it. It will go away. La 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 la. It's not happening, is it, Aries? You're, everything's totally fine. I could do a big romantic gesture, and and everything would would be better, right? If I if I just come on in with a big romantic gesture, yeah, that'll be totally awesome. But no, it, it isn't. It, it causes conflict somehow. It's almost like neither of you are admitting. Oh, that felt like the right word. It's like neither of you are admitting that things have changed. And it's different now. Nice oh, temperance here. Temperance in reverse. If we ignore it, it'll go away, right? And everything will be better again. It's almost like you don't need them the way you used to need them. And it's the same. They they uh, they don't rely on you the way that they used to. And you're sort of kind of feeling a little bit, I don't know, out of place. Say, like, well, <laughs> I'm not needed anymore then. That's why this romantic gesture goes out of the window. It's, it's just, what's the point? This dude's got his back to the door. The door's opening and it's conflict and fighting and it's kind of coming to the point where it's like, I could just leave. I could just stop fighting and get out of here. Just heard my cat sneeze. One of the cutest sounds ever. Just the cuteness just went poof in the room. So this is this is what you don't know now. What's going on now? What you don't know now. This is where I'm getting uncomfortable. Got the moon reversed. This is like. This 
is where I'm getting uncomfortable. Hang on. I'm, I'm kind of already uncomfortable with this. Something happened. I've got them in reverse and then we've got the three of cups. So something happened. The moon's about betrayal and 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 um lies. I'm trying to sort of uh, find a better way of saying it, but <sighs> call a pig a pig, right? It's lies. It, it, it's making me uncomfortable, though. Somebody's been lying here, and, and seeing what they can get away with. And yet still not wanting to leave this whole situation. It's sex. It's just sex to, the, the, to whoever it is. It could be you. Or it could be the other person in question, but it's just sex. Just to fulfill a need, but they don't want to leave the situation they're in. Scratching an itch. This is what I'm, I'm doing. I'm sort of scratching. I'm like, yeah, that's what it is. Scratching an itch. That's all that it is. And once the itch is gone, they're like, ah, that's better. I can go back to the uncomfortable situation. I mean, it'll last a bit longer. Aries, this is like, they're going to find out, or you're going to find out, or they're going to find out, whichever way this is. This is somebody getting hurt, and you can't get in anymore. They put their walls up. I'm seeing a perfectly ordinary evening. It's nice cuddling up on the sofa, eat some pasta, linguine, whatever, it's something spaghetti, something going in, drinking red wine. I'm feeling red wine here. Maybe even a couple of bottles. Why not? You know, let's let's just go wild. Let's let's have a good night let our hair down it's been you know we haven't been connecting so much this is nice i'm seeing one of you leave the room and as you leave the room somewhere there in the other room you see something that is evidence of a betrayal like uh you walk past their office and their phone's on the table and you see a message Or it's like the person who's in the room, the, the, the phone's left on the table. See a message. It's almost like there's a piece of paper on a table though that's, that's got some information on it. And then the confrontation. What is this? What 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 the hell is this? Tell me more. The confrontation. I think even one of you might get hurt. 
like physically like but not sort of having a, a fight like a abuse sort of hurt just like a like, trip over something <laughs> trying to get away from the argument like it's not serious i don't think it doesn't feel serious it's just like stub your toe or something as you're trying to sort of get away from the argument it just escalates there's a lot of confusion around this now and and blocks put in the way no we're not we're not de we're not dealing with this anymore we're not doing this anymore you lied to me I'm sort of feeling like if had you been honest, <coughs> it would have been better. Outcome here is just is reversed. Ain't justice, let's put it that way. I sort of feel like this is kind of a, a divorcey sort of situation, ending a relationship, but there's a lot of hurt and it's not fair kind of attitude. Like this, this shouldn't have happened, it's not fair. I didn't deserve this treatment and the other person can't get their words out and in not being able to get their words out the other person thinks that they're not being accountable for their behavior they just can't express themselves clarify justice for me This is over my loves. It's the way it was meant to be. I mean, right from the start, right from the start, it was over. From the two of cups here. It's like you guys just aren't working together anymore. Let me know in the comments below how, how the story pans out for you. Like, uh, stub your toe or <laughs> hit your head or something or stub your toe or something that makes you know it you know you stub your toe and like your head gets hot that's what i'm sort of getting you like when you're in pain and like your head gets hot so it could be even bumping your head or something but uh i'm just getting that oh I'm in pain <laughs> but i'm angry <laughs> kind of feeling let me know in the comments below I'm going to take this into extended where I'm going to ask about your person. How do they really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you and some guidance from the universe? Let's pull some oracle cards. I'm dressed for the gym because I'm going to go to the gym. I usually uh, go to the gym first and then do my readings. But I thought, let's give it a try and see, uh, see how it works the other way. It's a song by the cars, all I can do. And it makes a lot of sense. That's why I'm kind of pausing on it. It makes a lot of sense. When I was crazy, I thought you were great. And it's like, that's sort of saying, you know, I, I, I was kind of crazy in love with you and, and, and I thought that you were amazing in that time. And now I see you for what you really are. <laughs> You're not that great, are you? Oh. So yeah, I was a bit of a lunatic back then. I thought you were awesome, but you're not. All I can do by the cars. Emotions are running high. Yes, they are. Tres high. All right, I'm gonna take this into the extent of my love. Thanks for joining me, see you later.